just heard race cars. Yeah. I hear race cars in the distance. That means I have to go take a trip down to Ventura Raceway and see if they're... Let's run down there and see what's going on. <laughs> I just got a... I got a... I got an idea. Welcome, welcome. It's me, DC. This guy and his camera. You can tell by my face I'm a little tired. Um, I was doing the Uber thing last night, of course, down Hollywood, Beverly Hills, Los Angeles, all that good stuff. So really what I wanted to do is just take a morning and kind of chill out. I could hear race cars and we have the Ventura Raceway, which is literally right down the road from here. They're probably practicing today or something. So I'm gonna stop by there real quick. Then we'll take a drive up the coast and just see what we can do for a couple hours. I just made it down here to C Street or uh, Surfers Point and uh, I heard the race cars so they are practicing today see if I can run down next to the track here it has been my observation that you never know what's gonna happen in a situation like this so I'm just gonna go ask for, for, for ask permission first and then, uh, see what happens How's it going? Pretty good. Who would I talk to about just doing some video real quick? You no, know, uh, Steve Watt. He, he's the owner of the cars. He, he ran in the track. My boy's running. Oh, okay. I don't have a problem with it. Though. All right, right on. Can I get you my net, your number afterwards? Sure. And maybe coming from Porterville. Oh, uh, of course. All right, it's a go. I'm gonna grab some video of these race cars here. And uh, just gotta get everything set. There's just nothing in the world like the sound of a race car. I just keep killing all my batteries. So after spending a few minutes watching him go around the track and getting the drone ready to go, I decided to fly over and take a look at what was going on inside the pits. I don't know if you've ever been to a racetrack or if you've ever been close to a race car or not, but for me to go into the pits, I'm like so crazy stoked over this. Up until this point, the only thing that I knew was there was a couple people out there practicing with some wingless sprint cars. As it turns out, this driver's just 23 years old and his name is Casey Smother from Porterville, California. He had a GoPro, but he didn't have a memory card, so he let me put my memory card in his GoPro, so we got these really cool in-car shots. Take a listen as he talks about what it's like going around different parts of the track and what it's like driving the car. Pull the weight off front wheels and you can't turn it. It's like the steering wheel's back and forth. You hit the gas and it doesn't want to turn. You have to like brake to turn it and then get on the gas and it's just it's weird. It's it's different. See, with my other car, you get the gas and whip the rear end around, turn. This one is opposite, so I had to adjust to that. But it's just this corner is hard to do because I was blind the whole time. The sun right in my face. Yeah. I was just this is my dream to have one of these things. Got to finish school and then buy one. You look good out there, man. <laughs> Thank you. How long, how long have you been racing? I've been racing micro sprints for well, like 15 years, probably. It's my first day in one of these, though. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's my first time in one of these. I've always wanted to. Just never had the opportunity. Today. All that power is just it's unreal, really. You want to use it, but you can't. The cars only weigh about 1,300 pounds. This car's got about 700, a little over 700 horsepower. So the car I used to drive was a 600 motorcycle engine, about maybe 150 horsepower, compared to a small block V8 with 700 plus horsepower. Big difference. 
I've been racing micro sprints for about 15 years. This is about nine years old. And I've uh, always wanted to drive a 360 sprint car. And uh, finally got to do it today. It was like a dream come true. So as the sun was setting low in the sky, I went out and got a few more shots of Cody going around the track. I actually got Jonathan, that's what I named my drone, so close to the racetrack that I had to pick off little balls of mud that flew up from the car and hit it while it was in flight. What a trip. If you're curious about still photography with the drone, this was my favorite one that I got today. So man, what an absolutely awesome end to the day. Look at the sunset. Oh man. All right, you guys saw it happen. I walked out the door. We were gonna go up to Santa Barbara, do some video. And I heard the race cars in the distance. You remember, guys, each and every one of you, be the light. A lot of people lost in the darkness out there. We can all make a difference through all this one person at a time. Lots of love, many blessings. Talk to you soon. Thank you.